What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be going over a tool that will give you a massive, massive competitive advantage in the Facebook targeting realm uh, with audiences that you're building. Uh, my name is Adam. I own Paracore. We are a PPC marketing agency. We're in Phoenix. Today I'm wearing my Edison 21 shirt. That's a, uh, another agency that we started that does PPC marketing for Shopify store owners. So if you're a Shopify store owner, check out edison21.com. All right. So uh, if you're running Facebook ads, a lot of times what you do when you're building audiences, you start with a saved audience. You want to start running traffic to your website, and at that point, you might kick over to uh, retargeting most likely, and then maybe look like audiences, things like that. But when you first start, oftentimes you're starting with a saved audience. So uh, I want to talk about this tool that gives you a massive competitive advantage over other businesses that are running ads for the same products you are. All right, so if you're in the ads manager, you're going to head over to here to the hamburger. You're going to hit audiences, right? Boom, audiences. It's going to load up. You're going to see uh, all these different types of audiences. You're going to do create saved audience, and this is your standard audience builder. I'm not gonna go over all these details right now because we're talking about um, the Interest Explorer tool. And now down here, um, let's say that we're gonna be, we're starting um, an e-commerce store that sells yoga clothing, and we wanna run ads to people that are most likely to buy yoga stuff, right? So that sounds like a pretty decent campaign. It's a little bit broad, um, but that's kind of the point. So there's a lot of people that wanna buy yoga stuff. So I might jump in here and I might say, okay, I want to find people interested in yoga. So I type in yoga and now I have this general term, 360 million people, Hatha yoga, which is 10 million yoga pants, which is sort of odd. I'm not sure how you get like into the yoga pants must be clicking on ads related to yoga pants. Just seems like weirdly odd, but anyways, 10 million hot yoga, 7 million Ashtanga, Bikram yoga Alliance. Uh, Kundalini, I think is how you say that, yoga mat. So you start, you have some of these like broad interest categories, right? So let's say these are great for you. And it's like, okay, you're going to sell a mat. You're going to hit that guy and you're going to sell uh, yoga pants. And you're going to hit that guy. You're going to do yoga. All right. So I think there's another one here. Um, no, I thought there's another clothing one. I don't know what this is. Let's hit that one. Okay. So you've selected these three. These seem like they're pretty good. That's 11 million people. That's a big audience. Uh, the odds are anyone else that's selling yoga clothes is probably targeting these same interests because when I type in yoga and you type in yoga, you're going to see the same results. When the other company types in yoga, they're going to see the same results and everyone's going to see the same results. And so, um, so you end up competing for the same audience. Now, Interest Explorer is a third party tool that allows you to see interest categories that are very, very, very hard to find. It's not that other people can't get them or they're the only ones that you have. It's just they're very hard to find for other people. So here, when you type in yoga, you get interests that have the word yoga in them. And they're not really, they're not showing you other interests in the category that don't have the word yoga. Like I'm, every single term has yoga. So you have to know exactly what you're looking for. So if there's something in the yoga world that does not actually have yoga in the name or has yogi or yoga something with no space, you're not going to see it in here. So you have to just know that. So now I head over to this tool called Interest Explorer. Uh, it's interestexplore.io, and it's Facebook interest targeting tool for advertisers uh, that lower the cost, get more relevant eyes by revealing thousands of hidden Facebook interests. And there's a lot of information here about it, which you can read, but I'm just going to show you how it works. All right, so I head over to Interest Explorer. We have a agency level account, and now I'm going to type in yoga. Great. Boom. Hit enter. It's processing. And we're going to see something a little bit different now. The audience is sorted by smallest to biggest, so they're giving you more narrow audiences first. And now you see a lot of things that we didn't see before. We see Core Power Yoga San Diego, a very specific branch of core, uh, franchise for Core Power. You see Hot Bikram, um, I don't know how to say that word, uh, Pure Yoga, Curvy Yoga, Yoga Journal Events, the Yoga Teacher, Yoga Earth, Yoga Club. So you start seeing Yoga Tree, Tri Yoga. So like you start seeing all these different interests that we didn't see before, right? So this is clearly like an apparel brand. So one's a yoga apparel. Um, you know, I might be able to find if I type in yoga apparel, but let's see. Oh, there it comes up right there. So if I knew that I needed to type in yoga apparel, like if I knew to search this, I could get that. Um, but, I, you know, you could argue if you know that or not. But like here, I I'm just able to look through an entire list and find these things. So try yoga, for example is 35,000 people. I'm not exactly sure what Tri Yoga is. It sounds like, um, well, if I type in Tri, Tri Yoga does not come up. I don't know why I type in Tri anyway. If I type in Tri Y-O, Tri Y, then it pops up, right? 35,000 people. But I, I wouldn't have known to search for that. Uh, this just came up under the category. So I'm gonna hit Facebook here. It does a search for Facebook. And then I'm gonna do Google. 
So Try Yoga Facebook pops up and it says, okay, um, there's 32,000 people. Now we're looking at, I'm trying to find, wait, it wasn't at the top, was it? So I'm trying to find exactly what this Try Yoga is for. Oh, Kripalu Center for Yoga and Health, that's cool. Um, so Try Yoga, I'm trying to find out, I don't see it. I'm guessing it's maybe a page or something. Um, so now I'm gonna go here and Try Yoga, it's a whole new experience. So this is a spec, so it, it might be this. Try yoga. I don't know, but either way, it's a it's an interest category I wasn't able to find. And when you click these guys, Facebook and then Google, then you um, you will get the search results. So you can see there's just tons of them. yogaoutlet.com, uh, yoga today, the yoga people, yoga retreat, yoga studio, yoga magazine. You may already know these magazines, but if I'm an advertiser running for a product I don't know that well, this is really nice. If you are a yoga person watching this and, and, and you're like, yeah, dummy, like obviously I know all of these different journals and everything, that's great. That's because you know yoga. For me, I do a little yoga, but I, I don't like, I don't follow yoga. I don't have any access to journals. I don't look at anything online. So if I'm running ads for a category I don't know very well, this is great. So this shows me a ton of different interests, like hundreds. And then it starts, the audiences start getting quite a bit bigger. So you can see here, um, Vendanta, I think, or Shakti. These are categories where it doesn't actually have the word yoga in it, kundalini, no word yoga. And so here, when I type in yoga, it came up with um, yoga kundalini yoga. Where was it? It was in here somewhere. There it is. But I didn't know that I could just search for kundalini. So that's really nice. Like that gives me another interest that I just didn't even know I could search for. So using Interest Explorer allows you to find interests that other people are most likely not finding. The odds of someone finding these interests on their own are very low or they're spending an incredible amount of time looking for them. Because you can be looking for tons and tons and tons of things, but that doesn't mean Facebook actually has an interest for those things that you're looking for. So you could say, well, I'm not gonna pay for that. I'm gonna spend 30 minutes researching online. Go for it, but you're gonna find a bunch of things that you may not even be able to find here because you're not spacing it right or something else. So Interest Explorer, is amazing. Uh, the tool itself is not that expensive. They work on a lifetime licensing model. And if you scroll here to the bottom, it's 99 bucks for an individual, 149 bucks for a team, that's unlimited team members, and then $199 for an agency, which is 10 client, account, 10 client accounts and unlimited team members. I think we're team or agency, I don't know which one, but we have an unlimited one. And uh, this is really, it's powerful because, you know, you know, when you're talking about services where you're spending 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks a month, these are one-time purchases and it's a one-time uh, license that you can use for life and you can also get a bunch of members on there for 150 bucks. I mean, this is very low in the agency world when it comes to a tool of this power. This will save far more money than $150. So that is how you can get a competitive advantage over other Facebook advertisers advertising in your same category and or save an incredible amount of time uh, searching for interests you can just go to Interest Explorer, type in a category, and find a bunch of stuff. Let's say you're doing business schools. I did this earlier. I like the yoga example better, but I do business schools. And now I have hundreds of business schools that I've never heard of. I mean, if you want to, if you want to target people that are in business school because you want to sell them, I don't know, uh, insurance or you want to hire people or something, I don't know. Um, you have to spend quite a bit of my, quite a bit of time researching here. You know, a lot of these are, are out of the US, but let's say like USC Marshall School of Business. Pretty sure this is USC, I hit that guy. Marshall.usc.edu, Los Angeles as expected. And then you go here, um, you know, Geneva, obviously in Geneva, so Exeter, University of Exeter. So you can just find these very quickly, quickly Exeter in England. Uh, so it, it gives you just more results than you're used to. So that is the overview and summary of the Interest Explorer. Check it out. You're gonna get massive results. Um, my name's Adam, again, please leave a comment or questions in the comments below, uh, or check out our website, paracore.com if you need paid media advertising help. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.